Okay, so I just installed a oil drain on this little guy because uh, I got a really long line set. Here's the unit. And uh, it's a way, little itty bitty half inch line going down all the way down here. It goes all the way down there, over there, and to this cooler. So, um, so that's why we're doing this oil screen thing here. That's the first time I put one of these in, but we'll see how it works. Anyways, there you go. Little little evaporator. Oh man, here's the noise again. Got this thing all hooked up and done. Runs pretty good. I'll uh, come back to this in a minute when that noisy thing shuts off. Okay, now that the no noisy unit shut off, here it is running. Runs real nice. And the uh, little Dude is right. I don't know if you can see it, but down in there, anyways. So that's kind of that. Anyways, there's the noisy unit. But I'll come back here in a week or so. We got 42 here and 40 there, so super heat looks really good. There it is. Okay, so I'm back up here a week later and um, I got my little drain hose going from here up into here. And so we're going to try to change the oil out in it here. See what the what it looks like and how much is there. So I'm just going to tighten the fitting and see what happens. And we got about 20 pounds of pressure in it. That might be too much, I don't know. The deal on this thing is somebody had put uh, four, 404A in it with mineral oil. Compressor was bad. TXV is R22. And so I changed the compressor, put PoE in it, and we're going to do the PoE again. So you can see there's not a whole lot of oil. Um, it looks to me like we're going to have to add some oil to it. A little more than we're going to take out. Anyways, that's, that's what... This is the first time I put one of these little valves on here. And just so you know, the compressor does tell you right here, it should be 16 ounces of mineral oil. Although my little drain isn't completely on the bottom, so I have to account for that. Anyways, that's it. Okay, so this is the oil we pulled out of it. So we pulled out, I don't know, about 12 ounces. So that's what we're going to put back into it. Uh, you can see the oil is really, really, really nasty. I mean, not really, really nasty, but it shouldn't look like that. I'll show you what the clean oil looks like. So we're going to dump this out and then measure in the same amount. So they get the oil back in. I got it on the vacuum pump, and we got the uh, this valve closed off, and this is closed off. So we're pumping the compressor into the vacuum, and then we'll just suck the oil, new oil back in it, and that's going to be the end of this little job for now. That's fine. Okay, here's what I put in. I put in this Ultra MAF 32 POE. 
So this is what the oil should look like. See, it's a lot, a lot cleaner oil. So you can't leave this thing out, sitting out very long. So then we're just gonna take and put a little hose in there and, uh, and take and suck in the new oil. And that's that. Okay, so the unit's running. It is now going to be our 407A, and uh, everything looks pretty good on it. We have a suction of under 40, but just turned on. So yeah, now the unit is running on 407A. Hopefully, no more problems. Now it's be up here for a long time. <laughs> 